What's going on guys and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last video confused the hell out of me. I don't know what was going on with that prisoner, the cop, that whole reporter. Apparently, it was a chat was saying is about is a different ending to what I what I got and it, it's weird. I'm, I I don't care. My brain was getting turned to mush. It's confusing me. But as you know, we are still on the marathon stream as of recording this. I am recording this live. So hence the reason you can see chat below. So we are going to move on today. So hopefully on a good morning, afternoon or evening. And we are going to go meet Takamura. So I need to pull out a vehicle. I'm going to take the bike down. And we're going to head over to Takamura and see what he has to offer. Because obviously last time as well, we got the call about Dogtown. So let's go and see what Takamura has to say. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. That was very bad. Very, very bad. Did not want to hit that. I was way too close. Oncoming traffic. My brakes locked up. Actually... Before we go to Takamura, I think I want to see a Ripper Dot. So let's go and see him, because I would like to spend some cash on some advanced cyberware, I think. And there's one just around the corner, which we can just grab. Where the hell is he? Where is he? Is he downstairs? What is this place? Oh, I'm going to Jig Jig Street. Wait, no, apparently he's upwards. Wait. Wait, it's not a Jig Jig Street. Where is he? I'm just looking at the map now and it's saying go up. Okay, he's on here somewhere. Where is he? Hello? I'll start. Oh, shit. I don't realize I was in a hostile area. Oh, there's a bloody cop here. And I've got some perks as well. Still don't know where this Ripper Dock is. Apparently, he's down here. I'm so confused. I am just going to go to another one. I'm gonna go to that one. This one's confusing me. But I do have a couple of things to spend. Uh, reflexes, we can get to 15 now. I'm gonna put the points on that, and then we're gonna take that up. So that means we can jump into here. 20% dash stamina cost. Unlocks the ability to dash in mid-air. Ooh. Unlocks a blade finisher. I'm going straight reflexes. I need to get... Next thing I want to aim for is the uh, Mantis Arms. So let's get to this Ripper Dock if we can find this one. Wait. Have we just entered Jig Jig Street again? Oh, here we go. Medical assistance. 
Hello. Evening. Looking to upgrade my chrome. Okay. You sit, be comfy, and we will start. Okay. So you sh this place might offer something else, right? Manti times. 27,000. Tier 3. Allow you to slice and dice your enemies with swift, deadly slashes. You can also leap at a target to deal massive damage. To do so, hold... Ooh. So these are toxic, thermal, or electrifying. I think I want to avoid bleeding. Let's get them. Hell yeah. I've just got mantis arms. Do I need better eyeballs? No, I could do with something skeletal, right? Dense marrow. Melee damage is increased. Melee stamina cost. I'm guessing that doesn't count as blades. Does melee count as blades? Do you guys know? Health items now also give plus 5 armor. 15% armor when below 50% health. Mitigation strength. Plus 46 carrying capacity when stamina is above 80%. 85%. Plus 70 armor. Plus minus 20% movement speed. Melee should mean blades. Will it? We can science it, but it's cost me an arm and a leg. Hands. I think I want to bring my hands back in. That's a tier one. We could go for tier three. Increase ricochet chance with power weapons. Enables was the use of smart targeting. Reloading an empty weapon causes the next shot to release an electro shock that deals up to 140 electric damage to enemies near the point of impact. Whoa, shock absorber. Minus 40% recoil. When equipping, uh, equipping or throwing a throwable weapon, plus 8% chance when throwable weapons for 8 seconds. Yes. We want that. We still need to figure out a throwable weapon. I've not come across a throwable weapon yet. Nervous system, 13,000. Allows you to aim and perform ranged attacks. That's what we already have. But that's a tier 3, that's a tier 2. Hmm. Slows time by 40% for 3 seconds when your health drops below 25%. Slows time by 30% when your enemy detection rate is 50%. So I'll take them grants 50% headshot damage. What legs have I got? I've got the jumping legs, haven't I? I've got bouncy legs. I could get the better ones. Yeah, let's get the better legs. I, I like using the legs. Bouncy legs. Alright, cool. Done that. We got some upgrades. And I got mantis arms. Yeah, knives are throwable. But does that mean I need to have it equipped in my thingy? Because I thought it might be a, a consumable. Kind of like, I've got to put it in here and it replenishes, right? That's what I thought. But now I've got mantis arms. Does that mean I can go into my character... No, wait. My inventory. Change the katana to a knife. Right. It means I can throw it now. All right, that's cool. I just threw a grenade. Ah! Ah! Got it. So how do I pull out the anti arms now? How do I throw out, how do I use my mantis arms? Four. <laughs> okay, I need to 
figure a better key bind out, I think. I need to change my key binds. Why are you still... I'm... Oh, holding brakes. All right, so where's Takamura? Here he is, around here. Miss Bud him. Just get in the elevator. He's up in the market district, isn't he? Look at this place. Passion. Wait, is this where we're doing the ambush? I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. It would rub, but... Oh, perfect timing. Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you, be. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Yorinobu's a smart little muffin. Putting on the parade to show off his attachment to Arasaka, its values, and to solidify his legitimacy. He is shrewd. I will not deny that. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need... I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Shard. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You so I'm going for the snipers. Like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, getting more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I would not touch alcohol. 
at work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Worked. Hell yeah. And done. Systems all easy peasy. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that. We having some noodles, Six. some sushi. I have not eaten since yesterday. Oh. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Anything that is not local. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. I mean, all these balls. Um. <laughs> He's not on his A game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. I like mine. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Five. We got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. <laughs> we'll never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What do you do? A stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. It is ultimately to defend the well-being of my family. Cook! Louder! Employees. Louder! That is why I have decided to double the amount of our active night city security forces. 
President Myers has called this a breach. He eliminated the last the obstacle war. between the himself and the complete the power. NUSA and they the surrendered it to Tell him. Me what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka. An empire built to He life. killed his father. Before you are able to fire about? to it from the inside. We know this. All of this began with him. The factions. Power struggles. All of this. Ksa. Old man's death must have really fed the flames between the different factions. That is exactly what happened. And what's the balance of power look like now? Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Support Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. And tell me about them some other time. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could've kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family. Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Wait, you think she's complicit in Saburo's murder? I think we are all to blame. We allowed ourselves to be tricked. But we will correct this soon. Will you join me? Sure. Why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start the recon. Come. I have found a good place to observe. So this is the we're going to be observing the industrial park, right? Where we can. We must just climb up here. Now this way. <laughs> There's already a guy up there. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. You say that now, though. Until all hell breaks down on us. I miss Jackie. That's one thing I do miss. I miss his, uh, his comedic character. Good old Jackie Wells. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attentions. 
You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Okay. So we are going to infiltrate this place. There's no time to waste, B. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. There's definitely other ways. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Can these be scanned? This is not bad. I think I've seen everything. You wish to come for this reconnaissance, do your job. I expected you to be more useful than this. Well, I wanted to. All right, but I can't moment. scan the other things over there. Glance. Got eyes in the comm system. It's a lot of guards. Oh, now I can scan them, apparently. I could use comms for a diversion. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? It's going to give me the option on how we want to do this, isn't it? I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kombik Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> B. What? what? No sudden sort of movements. Do you see it? The cat. That cat. Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back and echo. Back and echo? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune. Can we store like a lucky the dead cat. back to life? Let's keep waving. Or even ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Miss Home? A foolish question. 
I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood? Let's see. Nights spent looking for a star. Any star. All dimmed by city lights. Silent lullabies sung by the flickering neon signs of Charter Hill. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Transporters, you say? Armored and armed. Chiba 11 had the most murders in all Japan. It probably still has. What did they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. So how's a corpo rookie go from cleaning latrines to being Saburu Arasaka's bodyguard? The highest grades at the academy, service in the special forces, and Arasaka-sama's unmatched eye for talent. You're not saying Saburo fell for you at first sight. To make the right decisions with imperfect knowledge, that is how you become the world's most powerful man. 100 candidates standing at attention. And Arasaka-sama looked into each of our souls and chose the one who would serve him best. And all he had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Slaving away for a corp. Not exactly everybody's dream. Oh, yes. Because thieving is so much more honorable. At least I'm not fleecing this planet and its people in the name of profit margins. Corporations need capital and resources to keep all in order. Who else is to rule? Corrupt governments? The masses attached to feeders? Cynics? Nihilists? Like you? Come on, not everybody wants to change the world. Sadly, this is true. Forgetting I was at Arasaka, saw how corpse operate. It wasn't roses and rainbows. And you know what? Nobody owns me. I'm free. You should try it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompik. We both have lost someone important, and we are not at peace with this, so we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Don't be smart. Got no idea what I feel. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. Bakanenko got <laughs> sick of us. Looks he like. just rolled off the edge. It will find its own way. As will we. Damn. I think it is time to do something. Hmm? 
Oh, fuck, getting worse. You do not look so bad. I feel it. 